Hello, Fastmatic friends! Today we are going to study the most complicated case of the rule of three, the compound rule of three. What does that mean? When you have three or more magnitudes in a problem of rule of three, you need to use a method in order to solve it. Let's see one example. Imagine we have doctors, patients, and breathers for coronavirus. Let's imagine that we have a very small hospital and 15 doctors can take care of 50 patients with 5 breathers. But now, with the coronavirus, 5 doctors are sick, so we have only 10 doctors and patients and coming and coming because people are getting bad so now we are gonna have 70 patients and the question is how many breathers are we gonna need to take care of 70 patients with only 10 doctors let's think that if we have more doctors we need less breathers but now we have less doctors what can we do to solve it? To calculate it, you write the unknown value and pay attention. The column where you have the unknown value is going to be compared with the other columns to see if you have a direct rule of 3 or an inverse rule of 3. And here, remember one thing. If you have a direct rule of 3, you are going to write the plus sign on top and the minus sign on the bottom. But if you have one inverse relation, you are going to flip those signs, minus here and plus and bottom. Also, we have to say that here, where we have the unknown value, we are going to always, always, always write the minus here and the plus where you have the unknown value. Now we are going to compare breathers with patients. If we have more patients, do we need more breathers? or less breathers. More patients, more breathers. Less patients, less breathers. That means we have a direct rule of three. So we are going to write plus here and minus here. After that we are going to compare breathers and doctors. If you have more doctors do you need more breathers or less breathers? More doctors, less breathers, less doctors, more breathers. So we have an inverse rule of three. We're going to write minus and plus. Okay. Now remember the formula. Always, always, always minus times minus, minus times minus times minus, etc. divided by plus times plus times plus, etc. Here we have fifteen, seventy, and five. 
15 times 70 times 5. And then we're going to have the plus, look, 10 times 50, and that's it. Then if we multiply, we're going to have 5,250 divided by 500. That is 10.5 breathers. So we can see that it's logical that if we have less doctors, we're going to need more than twice breathers for patients, automatic breathers. Thank you very much for your attention.